In this video I'd really like to talk to you about the difference between phrases and clauses. And I guess we could also add to that parts of speech. If we think about the, the difference between these very generally, and we'll get to this picture in a moment uh, here, but if we think about them generally, we can think that a part of speech is the smallest unit, and then a phrase consists of one or more parts of speech that together kind of form a unit, and then a clause is the biggest unit and consists of quite a few phrases. So that's one way to think about the relationship between these three parts of the sentence. And it's a bit like building with Lego, right? If you add enough pieces together, eventually you get something pretty interesting. Now if we look at our picture here, imagine that you're going skiing, and which of these items, you know, all these skiing items, is absolutely essential. Which one would you uh, not be able to ski without? I think you would probably agree with me that the skis are the most essential. Obviously, you know, without a jacket and a toque, as Canadians say, there's our toque, there you go, um, or a hat or a beanie. Uh, without a toque and a, and a sweater or a coat, you would freeze, uh, but at least you get a little ways with your skis, whereas without them, you wouldn't get very far at all. In a sentence, it's the same thing. So your skis in a sentence are the subject and the verb. You always need at least a subject and a verb. And that also allows us then to distinguish between clauses and phrases. So if we make a little list here, a clause, okay, a clause has at least one subject and one verb. So one subject plus one verb as the absolute minimum. Um, we also know that clauses can be separated into dependent and independent clauses, and dependent ones can stand by themselves as a, sorry, cannot stand by themselves as a sentence. Independent ones can be a sentence by themselves. Um, so we know that clauses are these bigger units then, and we need a few things in order to have a clause. We can, however, include quite a bit else as well. So all of this together is really one clause, and that's because we also include the phrases include other phrases as well. And then if we want to add to that, we can add another clause with more phrases, another subject and verb, and so on. What is a phrase then by comparison? Well, a phrase is a smaller group of words. So a smaller group of words. And these words are often not essential Okay, often not essential. Though sometimes, you know, some of these words are. So for instance, if you have a verb phrase, uh, then obviously it's essential because you can't have a sentence without a verb. Uh, they also act as parts of speech often, acts as a part of speech. And let me give you an example then of a couple of these things that we've talked about. If you look at the, the last part of the sentence, we have two prepositional phrases. We have on the slopes and we have near Whistler. These are both prepositional phrases. They start with a preposition and they end with an object of the preposition, which is a noun in each case. Um, so we have two prepositional phrases and they're not essential. We can put them in brackets and the sentence would still be a sentence. You could say early in the morning we skied. Uh, they're also acting like a part of speech. In this case, if we say we skied where, you could say on the slopes. So this prepositional phrase is acting like an adverb. Okay, it tells you about the verb. And the other one is, is acting the same way. It's, it's answering the question, where did, you, where did we ski? So both of these are acting like adverbs, and that's why we can say that um, these phrases often act as a part of speech. Okay. So the last thing then to mention about phrases is that every sentence, every sentence contains multiple phrases. Any number of phrases in every sentence. And you probably guessed that already. Now we've mentioned just really one or two phrases here. Um, so we've mentioned prepositional phrases, but there are lots of other phrases. And in fact, this verb here, um, we could call it a phrase if we wanted to, although it's easy enough just to call it a verb. Uh, but if we wanted to add to this, if we wanted to have a lengthier kind of verb phrase, we could say, uh, we went skiing. 
right? We went skiing or we will be going skiing. <laughs> we will be going skiing. And now we're really adding, piling up the verbs. So all of this together then would be a verb phrase. And you can see that our verb phrase is essential in this case because it's really part, uh, part of the core of the clause. Just to recap then very quickly, phrases consist of parts of speech. They're smaller than clauses. They're smaller groups of words. They're often not essential. They act as a part of speech, and it can be hard to tell sometimes which one, but we'll talk about that in a different video some more. And every sentence contains multiple phrases. So in future videos, then we'll really talk about all the different types of phrases, but this video is more of a concept video, and hopefully you get the idea.